Today we're doing an install with the status grill on the 2013 Dodge Ram 1500. Tools you're going to need today. 8 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, clip removal tool, screwdriver, flathead, a cutting device, 3 16 drill bit, a sander, and locking pliers. I use needle nose with ground down teeth so they don't scratch. Alright, first step today, remove the dust cover up top. There are push clips throughout. Pull those out, dust cover removes. Alright, next step, you'll take your 10 millimeter, remove the four bolts here, and the grill has two push clips on each side and those just pull out so you have to give it a tug. Alright, with the grill shell out, next step we're going to take our 8mm and remove all these bolts going across removing this support beam. That way we can access the black plastic here to be able to remove it. Alright, next step we're going to remove the black plastic from the outer shell. To do that, there's snap clips located all throughout it. You have to pry those out and remove the black plastic. All right, now that the uh, background plastic's out, we'll flip the grill over here, we'll mark it, and then we'll cut out the center cross section. On the sides, just cut right down in the natural groove. Across the middle is where you have to be careful. The grill sets right across this edge. So you have to leave just a little bit of room for the grill to sit on without showing your cut. All right, with the grill marked, now we'll uh, cut along the lines. Right, now take your sander just clean up the uh, corners and edges a little bit of your cuts and we'll be ready to install the grill all right now that the center cross is cut out and sanded we're going to set the grill into the shell what you may have to do is bend the little tabs in out or just a hair just to make them line up with the flange on the inside for mounting. We'll set it in, get it nice and even, and then take your locking pliers and clamp the two together. To hold it in place. Make sure when you clamp, you clamp off to the side so we can access the center line there to mark for uh, drilling. All right, now that we have everything clamped in place, one last check, flip your grill up. Make sure you like everything. Make sure everything's lined up, centered, and looks right. Take your Sharpie and just mark inside of each mounting bracket on the shell. We'll remove the grill shell again and drill. All right, now that uh, we've got all the marks for drilling, take our 3 16 drill bit and you want to drill fairly close to the outer edge on each one. Once 
Once you get through, give it a little side to side for some wiggle room. All right, now that all the holes are drilled, put the grills back in the shell. Take your supplied hardware pack and loose fit all the hardware. By loose fit, I mean just get everything started. Don't tighten anything up yet. All right, now that all the hardware is loose fit, what we're gonna do is start in with the center brackets, tighten those up first and work our way out. You wanna make sure that the grill, sh the grill is pushed tight to the shell and then tighten. So if you need to, you can pull it tight, clamp to the side, and then tighten your bolt and do that around the edges. Now on these tight ones, I like to use just a little ratchet with a screwdriver bit. <clears throat> it fits inside the hard angles a little better. And then you can use a ratchet on the outside. You just want to snug them up. Don't over tighten them. This is just plastic. These are nylocks, so you have no worries of them backing off. All right, now that the shell's all tightened in, we're gonna take this uh, black strip here, set it back into place, get your eight millimeter back out. And screw it all back down. All right, now that that's all tightened up, Real shells put together and done. This is what we got. Last step, we're just gonna take the shell, set it right on, right back onto the truck, lining up all the holes, snapping in the push pins. Now all we have is the top four bolts. Make sure that you use the heavy threaded ones on the outsides and the machine threads on the insides. That's your 10 millimeter socket. All right, last step, take the dust cover, put it back over the top. You have to make sure that these clips, they're plastic they bend easy, so make sure they're straight. Line them up directly with the hole, straight up and down, and push directly down. Do that on all of those, and we'll be done.